Hi guys, I hope you're okay. So for DT this week, we are thinking all about our topic of Benin. So hopefully you've watched the topic launch video by now. You'll have also watched the video of Mrs. Pettifer reading the first part of our text as well. So in both of those videos, you will have seen examples of Benin sculptures. And these are called Benin bronzers. So they are sculptures that were made and they are now kept in the British Museum, most of them. And they were made for all different things. So some of them were plaques, some of them were commemorative heads, some of them were animal figures, some of them were human figures. And they are made for lots and lots of different reasons. So what I want you to do for your DT this week is I want you to have a think about how you would go about making your own Benin sculpture. So this week we're going to plan it, then next week you're going to make it. So this week all we need to worry about is how we'd go about making it. So what I want you to do first is I want you to do some research into Benin sculptures. So there are lots of stuff on the British Museum website about it, there's lots of stuff on Bite Size about it. And you will find that even though they were called Benin bronzers, they were actually made out of lots and lots of different materials. So first I want you to have a research into that. Your second job is to have a think about how you'd go about creating your own Benin sculpture. So think about what different materials you'd need, what different, what different resources you'd need to help make that sculpture. And then what I want you to do is I want you to create a step-by-step -step plan showing exactly how you would make it and what you'd need to make it. So obviously it's a plan, you're making a sculpture, so it'd be really helpful if you had an idea of which sculpture you wanted to make as well. So you might copy a sculpture that's already been made and think, I want to make that, but I'll make it in my own way. Or you might think, oh, I've got a really good idea of a sculpture that might have been made back then. You've seen lots of different examples. I think actually that would be a really good idea. So you might come up with your own idea, but as long as it's still in keeping with the theme of a Benin sculpture. So it'd be really helpful if you drew out your sculpture that you were going to create as well. So when you come to making it next week, you've got this idea in your head, you know what it's going to look like. So in your step by step, I want pictures and descriptions of every step that you need to take. And I also want to know what materials and stuff like that you're going to need to help you make it. Another thing I want you to think about is the different materials that you could use to make it. Because obviously, like I said, they're called Benin bronzers. They weren't always made out of bronze. And I don't expect you to make me a bronze sculpture. Because my guess is not a lot of you have bronze lying around at home to do that. So I want you to have a think of at least one way that you could come up with that's really creative in creating this sculpture. Okay, so I want you to research. I want you to come up with an idea of the sculpture that you're going to do. And then I want to see a step-by-step -step plan of how you are going to create this sculpture. But remember, this week we are only planning it. I don't want you to make it. I just want to know how you're going to make it, okay? So there's researching, there's doing your step-by-step -step plan. And then I want to know what one material you are going to use. Remember, be creative with it. So there are lots of different materials you have lying around your house that you could probably use. I want you to have a think about them and think about the most creative way that you can come up with to create your sculpture. And I want you to make sure that that's somewhere in your plan that you've said, this is the material that I'm going to use. And you might tell me why that's the material you're going to use. So you might pick something because you can make it look like one of the original Benin sculptures. Or you might pick it because you think it's a really creative way to do it. Okay? So if you have any questions, please let me know. At the end of this video, I will put up some examples of Benin sculptures as well. So you get a bit of an idea. Remember, this is all about the research that you're doing, which will really help back up your project. Good luck, guys.